radio. What we got? Boss Audio, BV800 ACP, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Audio. So we're gonna go ahead and install this in the 2018 Honda Pilot. Stay tuned. Before we actually get to the car and installing it into the Honda Pilot, I do believe that there are some like minor installations that you have to do with the wiring on this. So I'm gonna take care of that first and then we're gonna get to the car. All right, so we got some of the wires right here. And then what's cool about this is that everything is labeled so it, it'll tell you like exactly where everything goes. Got the manual. Then we actually have the radio. It's actually really light. I'm surprised it's pretty light. Um, so let me go ahead and unwrap this and see what we gotta do. Alright, actually we do have to get to the radio first. So looking at the installation guide, it tells you that you have to go to the passenger's door and remove the trim. And then from the trim, so you're gonna move this part first. Then you're gonna remove this entire piece. Then you're gonna go on the driver's side and you're gonna do the same exact thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, got these tools. So I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand, but if I can't, then I'm gonna have to put the phone down and knock it out. Boom, a piece. Then we want to take out this piece. Just be careful that you're not damaging anything. So you don't want to just rip it out just because you're strong and you could just rip everything out. Got that out. You're definitely gonna need two hands to do that. So now we're gonna go on the other side and I'm just gonna get the driver's side out and then I'm gonna work on these parts. So same thing. Just remove this off of here. Then you go under the steering wheel and you just snap that. I didn't unplug the wires. Um, I don't think I need to get to those wires so I'm gonna just leave those plugged in. And then from there, you're gonna take your removal tool and you're gonna pop this out. And then that way you should have access to the screws that you need to do. So let me go ahead and do that. So with that tool, we remove the hazard, the airbags, and just push the piece down and just remove it out. So now I got that and there should now be Let's see, we got one, two, three, and then four, focus, Phillips screws. So now we just gonna unscrew those and then that should actually be able to take this entire piece off now. And then from behind there, eight millimeter, I believe, you just screw those out and then I'll take the whole radio out. So let me go ahead and get to that. So after you remove the screws, you got one screw here, one screw here, and one screw here. Once you remove those three screws, use this right here. Go to the top of it and try to pry it that way. Don't just try to pull it out because you don't want to damage anything. But once you do that, then this will be loose. And you just want to, again, remove these wires. Access to this. I got this little piece right here. I have to put my phone down so I could get this piece right here. Oh, just give me a second. So now, when you got this piece out, what you want to do is you want to remove this little storage area. So you got four screws: one, two, three, and then four. 
Remove that, and then you'll have access to this. You want the goal is to get to this right. Oh, let me see if I can show you that right there, and then that right there. You want to get those two out, so then that way you could get to the radio. All right, so let's go ahead and do that first. Again, let's start. We're getting these out. All right, screws are out, and they should just move out your way. Boom. So, you know, again, you don't have to, you don't have to detach anything. Just move it out your way. So then that way you can have access to those two. All right, so let's go ahead and unscrew those now. Once you take those screws out, very, very carefully, this is in here, very tight. So use your tool, go around the top. You're gonna be able to get a little bit out the top once you get out of the top with two hands, grab the top, grab the bottom, and kind of wiggle up and down, and you can pull it out. Now, these are where the radio is gonna be connected, so once you pull that out, you wanna disconnect all of your wires so you're not damaging anything. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, all right. And this is how we're looking now. Radio's out. We're gonna unscrew these pieces off and we're gonna put the new radio on here. But before we do that, we do have to get our cables connected so we can make sure that everything is working properly. So now we're gonna go back inside and do everything. All right, so I did go ahead and take the bus radio and put it onto the dash kit. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like how you see this gap at the bottom. It does not sit flush, but it's gonna be a lot better than the factory radio. I take that versus the factory radio. Which one would you prefer? Me too. So I couldn't use, I wanted to use the bars, the bracket that was on here. I wanted to use these silver ones, but I guess the way that they have this set up, it screws into there, but even that, it doesn't sit flush. So that's done though. Got the vents connected to it. That's how it's gonna look. Now we just gotta fix the wiring to make sure that the wires work with the radio. So I'm gonna do that and just stay tuned. All right, so while I was trying to install, I did notice that this adapter piece um, my package with Crutchfield did not provide me with an adapter piece. I actually called them and they told me that I would have to tap into the wires in order for it to connect. But what I did was I actually looked up a local audio shop and I had them get this piece for me. So this piece right here actually has everything. So all of the wires that it needs to be, this actually will be plugged in for the power source and then before you plug it in though, you're gonna just connect these wires to the back of your radio, and then everything should be set up. So we're gonna get that set and then stay tuned. All right, so after I put all of the corresponding colors, connected them, make sure the positive is with positive, negative is with negative, then I use these. I have some solder and seal wire connectors. So I took that, put them connected, I connected them together rather than use my little lighter. And then I just put some electrical tape over it just to try to make it a little neater. I'm gonna plug everything in and then I'm gonna plug it into the radio and we're gonna see what's going on. All right, so I installed everything back in, screwed everything up. This is how I look. So it definitely looks a lot better. Let me go ahead, start it up. See what's going on here. Right. My heat and everything still work. That's good. Mute it just in case. All right, so this is how the radio is looking. So the radio work, I just put it on mute, just in case. When you raise the pools, select the It's Philly's father, you know what I mean? To the contest and promotion. Oh, the 
Lights down. Not bad. Let me. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my Apple um, my iPhone. It's for wires. I got the wires coming out the sides. So got a USB charger and then you got the CarPlay. So I'm gonna plug it into the CarPlay and see what's going on. As soon as I plugged in the CarPlay, everything popped up. Music, Waze, Podcast, so we good.